Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Justin. Today I'm looking at the S800 Intelligent Guitar from Moore. All right, let's look at some of the physical characteristics of this guitar. So to turn this on, all you gotta do is turn this knob here so the light turns on, and then it'll pair with the app, and you're good to go. This knob also acts as an overall volume for the entire app. All right, so let's say you're playing a show on stage and you're playing a song that maybe part of the song is with an acoustic guitar, but there's another part that's electric or maybe has a solo that you want to play. You can use this guitar and the app to emulate different guitars and switch between those all just from the controls here on the guitar. So with the toggle switch right now, I have this set to an acoustic guitar simulator. And I have this position set to the standard original tone. If at any point you want to access the tuner and you don't want to go through the app to find the tuner, all you have to do is press down this button until it turns green, and you're good to go. If you turn the super knob off here, you can just play through your jack like a standard normal guitar. You can plug into an amp or plug into an interface just as you would a standard guitar. And the tone sounds really good just coming straight out of this guitar as well. And it sounds great distorted too. Alright, so I want to go through the app here and show all the different capabilities and different things you can change and manipulate all just from your phone. So there are a lot of different things that this can do and it might seem overwhelming at first, but once you get a hang of it, it's really intuitive and really easy to use this app and it's really awesome the wide range of things that this can do. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is connect your guitar to your phone through Bluetooth. So once you connect to your guitar, you'll be brought to this screen, which is the main screen. From here you can click into that top corner to get all the information on your guitar. The folder icon opens up the tone library in which you can access a bunch of different preloaded tones, a lot of which as you can see are specific references to different songs or different bands. <laughs> And anytime you want to go back a page, you just hit that top left button to go back. Then the fader icon shows the mixer for the overall output and input of the guitar and the outs and all that. And then the wrench icon brings you to sort of the home base of the app. From here you can access all your different tones and settings and presets and all that. First let's hit this button here, it should be flashing on your phone. From here you can control your different pedals and your different amps. It gives different options for effects such as a boost, an amp sim, a cab sim, dynamics, modulation, delay, and reverb. Within each effect icon, you've got a drop-down menu that will allow you to choose different pedals that are all within that effect type. Tap each effect icon to turn the effect on or off, and hold down any effect and move it to switch the order of the effects. If you create a tone that you like and you want to save it to use it later, just hit that save icon up in the top middle of the screen, then enter a name for the preset, and use the drop-down menu to decide in which bank you want to save the preset. Speaking of presets and banks, let's hit that button on the bottom of the screen here to bring that menu up. This has nine different banks and four settings per bank that allows you to decide which preset and which setting you're using. So here's bank 0A, and then I hit page up and hit A again to access bank 1A. The different tones and banks are all listed in that drop-down menu at the top of the screen. If you'd like to upload and share your tone, or download and try out a tone that someone else has used, use these two buttons on the top of the screen here. So I'm going to choose the cloud icon here to try out other tones that people have uploaded. So let's try out this high gain J900 setting. That's a pretty cool setting, I might download that one. <laughs> click the person icon to access your profile, and click the question mark icon to get help on each of the different settings and buttons within each page. All right, now let's click on this bar right here. So this menu changes what your toggle switch will do, and allows you to access different guitar emulators through that pickup switch. So right now you can see I'm on the first pickup option, and as you toggle through your different switch positions, it'll move the pickup indicator on this little window here. From that drop down menu, you'll get a list of different guitars, and you can emulate different types of pickups and guitars from that menu. So let's go to that 58 Les Paul model and see how that sounds. It's got a little bit more of that classic humbucker tone that a Les Paul is known for. One of the options is even an acoustic simulator, which is so cool to have included on this. Alright, and then the last icon from this screen is the bottom right settings menu. 
From the settings menu here, you can access the rest of the features that this app has included on it, such as changing your global output settings, accessing the built-in tuner, pulling up the included drum machine, accessing the extensive chord chart handbook, bringing up the overall volume mixer, accessing the built-in looper, and various other standard app settings. On that output mode screen, you can choose different ways that you can play this guitar out from the jack. I'm currently playing through the interface slash mixer mode because I'm playing into my interface directly into my computer, but you also have a power amp mode and a headphone mode if you want to plug your headphones directly into the guitar jack. In addition to the standard quarter inch guitar output jack, this guitar also has a USB output that if you have an OTG cable, you can plug it directly into your phone and record onto your phone without needing a separate audio interface between your phone and the guitar. So also on that global page you have the Super Knob Mode tab, which allows you to change the functionality of the Super Knob on the guitar. I'm currently set to Preset Select, which allows you to change the different presets by pressing that knob and changing the different colors of the lights underneath the knob, cycling through four different tones. The other way the Super Knob can be used is as a tone switch between different guitar sims. Basically what that mode does is allows you to turn on or off your guitar tone capture simulation by using the Super Knob. So this way you can switch easily between two different types of guitars just with that button instead of having to use the tone toggle switch which you might want to use to switch between the different pickups on the guitar. So right now we have the tone capture on with that acoustic guitar simulator. <laughs> And now we have it turned off, so it reverts back to the standard tone of what is actually coming out of the pickups. So that should cover the app. I think I got to just about everything. If you have a question on anything I forgot to mention, please feel free to leave a comment on the video, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Alright, so let's just go ahead and cycle through some of the really cool tones you can play with through this app and through this guitar. First off, here are a couple of the tone presets that they give you in the tone library. <laughs> Then in addition to that tone preset library, this comes stocked with a ton of additional tones that you can choose from, all in that drop down menu at the top of the screen. So as I mentioned, you can adjust all the different parameters of each of the effects right from within this page here. So let's say for example I wanted to have this sort of effect, but I wanted to have the repeats be a little bit faster. I could bring that time knob down to have a faster delay effect. I gotta say, as I've been playing this more, I've been really impressed at the build of this. It's not just a really cool and innovative instrument in terms of the different effects and the amp sims and all that that it has, but it's also just a really solid guitar. The neck is super playable and it's staying in tune really, really nicely. And like I mentioned before, this super knob is so cool to use to cycle through the different tones that you have within your bank. So right now I'm on bank number 8 and you can see I'm on patch 8A. And as I click through this, you can see how it goes to the different patches within each bank. Alright, so as you can see, this is just awesome. Whether you're jamming with friends or playing on stage and you don't want to lug around an amp and a bunch of different pedals, or if you're writing and you want to explore some different tones during that writing process, or even if you're recording and you don't have access to a bunch of different amps and different types of effects and pedals, this is perfect for any of those sorts of applications. The free app that this comes with is really intuitive and easy to use, and this is a super playable guitar and sounds great even just plugged in as a standard normal guitar into an amp. So this is a really great instrument and I would highly recommend it for anyone that's looking to explore different amp sims, different tones, different effects, all of that built into one guitar. And it's really cool to see what the future of guitars and the future of amp sims could look like. Thanks so much for checking out the video, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to hit like and subscribe and to check out the rest of the channel for more music related content. 
Thanks so much for watching.